Welcome back people, we've got some more Riders Republic for you guys here again today. So, Big Man was in front of me on this in stars, but now I've got more stars than him and I'm going to show you how and what I did to uh, get those stars insanely fast and obviously unlock a crazy insane amount of bikes and other stuff. He does have better bike than what I do, but we're progressing through the game obviously. Anytime I do live streams, I'll always use a face camera mic, but when I make videos, I just randomly hit record and that's how we get those awesome videos. We show lots of new games, old games, pre-ordered games, and uh, we show lots of different things in this game. We've shown how to get the secret jetpack and the secret plaster car. So you can check those other videos out for anyone who's interested. If you want to support the channel a little bit more and become a member, the link for that will be in the description below. Don't forget to drop a like and obviously leave your comments below. And I'll try and get back to you as quick as I can. So this is a point. We have the same bike. And um, so how I get such a high insane score... If you're playing against other people, the best thing to do is just to wait there a little bit like I am right now. Let them get in front so that way no one's in your way. If people become getting in your way, then straight away you run into a problem. So you can of course press L2 plus the left analog stick and that does do tricks. But um, I'm going to show you for example. So left analog stick and there you go, there's that. And then if we do the left analog stick plus square... That does quite a, a good amount. As you can see there, we've got an epic score. But as well as square, is what I've noticed is by pressing all different buttons, I think the ones that get the most highest score is circle and square. Now, by getting those, when you're going over, you do want to hold your finger on R2 all the time because R2 and L2 give you that special ability of tricks which I didn't realise that because I kept taking my finger off R2 look at that 22,700 score there is absolutely no way Big Man can beat my score there is no chance in the world he will beat it just because he doesn't know how to do it whereas if now me talking about it maybe he might or even watching the videos he might he might learn but um, yeah he was level um, 600 and something and I was level 300 and something and now I've got 700 and I keep saying level stars so yeah he was 600 and something stars I was 300 and something but now I'm actually higher than him as you can see there I've got 749 stars and he has 714 so not only I've caught up with him really quick but I've also overtaken him and that's because of the tricks that I'm doing so to explain it again um, where we'll run one more track of that just to show you different tricks but um, the way I do it so I keep my finger on R2 all the time my finger never comes off R2 I press X to obviously jump so as you're coming off the jump you want to press X just so that way you get that little bit more height so that way you're in the air longer to do more tricks and as you can see my career level as well is maxed uh, the highest career level you can get is level 50 I'm um, also now level 50 on career mode, so this has helped out quite a lot. This does also work on the snowboards and on the skis. So as I'm saying, hold, always keep your finger on R2. When you're going to take off the ramp, you press X, and then you hold your finger on R2, L2, use the left analog stick, and then either press square or circle, or you can press triangle. But as I said, I've noticed more, more score when I'm pressing... R2, L2, the left analog stick plus square or circle. Now with the left analog stick you can push it up, you can push it down, you can push it to the left, you can push it to the right. But always by pressing square and circle as well. So a lot of different buttons that you've got to press all at once. And it's, it's more brain memory <laughs> than anything else. But um, you do get the hang of it. So keeping my finger on R2, I'm going to tell you what I'm doing. Holding my finger on X, let go of X, hold A of 2, and then I press square. At that time, I didn't move the left analog stick. Now, that's me moving the left analog stick. Look at that. Got another epic score, 20,000. I have even got this up to, I think, like 40 something odd thousand on the most, but obviously not on this track. So, you can get an absolute insane score by doing this. Most of the time, I do press down on the analog stick when you press up obviously it does your no hander but yeah most of the time i do press down r2 l2 and then square or circle whatever whatever i'm i'm feeling look at that another epic score 22,000. 
another epic score. Pretty much every time I can get the epic score. If not, I get awesome, but it is most of the time it is an epic score every single time. Another epic score. There's no way he's gonna beat it until he learns how to do it. There's no, there's no way he could beat that. What's that other track, um, Biggs? Remember that um, one with the really big jumps in it? Yeah, do you want to set that one up? And I'll show you on that one, I can get like between 30 to 40 odd thousand as a score in one trick. So another thing to mention as well, it's not just by pressing buttons. I've also noticed something else as well, which I will explain that and I will show that. So hopefully you haven't just come off the video because there's more to it than just pressing buttons. There's different things you have to change in the settings. So I'm going to check, show you that in the settings. So hopefully you've stuck around. There we go. We've got a new bike as well. It looks all right. 727. Uh, that's not bad. 727 yeah so if you want to set up that big massive that big massive jump you know where that is i'll let you set that up so the blue screen um i did have a patch update the blue screen in is still a thing it can be quite frustrating at times i'm gonna be honest you haven't got a blue screen once oh wow well, you're lucky Maybe it's just some people. I'm unlucky. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I keep getting the blue screen, man. It's quite frustrating. Yeah, it could be, yeah. Oh, I'm on a PS4 slim, slim line. Yeah. Mind you, the, my PS4 is on quite a lot, so uh, that is probably why. Maybe I'm overdoing it. It needs to cool off. <laughs> right, so big man set up the, a big race. This one is, again, it's just tricks, but it's they've got some insane jumps on there. I think my biggest score in, um, it was in tricks, what was it called? I think it's tricks for all or something like that. Um, we done that. My my biggest score on that is nine hundred and eighty-seven thousand. So uh, <laughs> yeah, it's quite a bit. All right, so I'm gonna quickly pause it and quickly show you in the settings real quick. So we go to options. So here, landing mode. I did have that on automatic. I've tried it as manual. Oh, you can try it, but landing as manual is very, very difficult. If you manage to nail that, you're better than what I am. That's really, really hard. I have landed the odd one or two here and there, but very hard. I did have it on auto. If you change that onto steep mode, landing mode, that also helps get your points up a little bit. And I also normally put it on epic as well. I put I put it on the very, very best is what I can. So you can choose standard, pro, Elite and Epic, I think it is, isn't it? Yeah, and I've got, I always put mine on the very, very hardest. 30,200 there as a score. But again, there's no way Big Man is going to beat my score. Absolutely no chance. And I feel that confident just because I know. Look at that, got legendary scores there. Let's have a look, see what I got compared to you. 116,000 and you got 74. That's a big difference. <laughs> yeah, 900 your bike. I literally just unlocked that one, what I got right now, that 727. Yeah. So normally if you do that solo, Normally you get two shots at taking, hey. taking that ramp. Max career level. So when you get to max career level, sometimes you can still get the odd free gift, but 
Take, it definitely takes a short minute. It takes longer. Yeah, you'll see that. You started a solo one. <laughs> it happens. So I put the... Okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. That was it. Waiting for other players. There we go. Yeah, what's the what's the highest you can take it up to? Yeah, on difficulty. Yeah, I put mine on maximum as well. The maximum uh, difficulty. Hold on, options. What's it under as? Okay, so there, game difficulty. Obviously, you start off at standard, and then we changed up the pro, and then from pro, I skipped expert and went straight to elite. So, make sure that you've got it set to elite. And then landing mode as steep mode. And then that is how you're going to get some insane points. Now, of course, if you add it as manual and you manage to land it, you'll get even more points than what, what you see me getting right now. You'll get a ton more. But, as I said, it is very, very difficult to try and land it. So, good luck. If you manage to do it, well, then you're better than me. 26,000. Thirty thousand two hundred. Couldn't push it more than that. I tried. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. I hope it has helped you out. As I said, if you've got any comments, do leave it in the comment section below. So when you're taking off, hold your finger on R two. I'm just going to repeat it just one more time so you understand. Hold your finger on R two all the time. Hold your press. Hold your finger on X. Release X when you hit the jump. And then press L2, and then use keep your finger on R2 and L2. Move the left analog stick up, down, left, or right, and then you press circle or square. Well, actually, I keep my finger on circle or square. Until you get close to the ground, and then obviously release all buttons. But keep your finger on R2 at all times. Hope you guys have enjoyed this one. <clears throat> Don't forget to subscribe for more Riders Republic to come. We catch you people again soon for some more fun and games. I am out.